All right. Oh, uh, now, just so you know at home, actual size, I'm actually huge. I'm very, very big. So I'm just going to give you the... This is actually 100 metres, OK? I know to you it probably looks like just a handful of steps, but it's actually 100 metres long, this studio. So, you can imagine. They just actually have to do it at this end, don't they? You can't quite see it that end. So you can imagine right there, they're on that, they're on the start line, they're all sort of warming up, you know, they're doing the shake -outs. you know, some people start like that, obviously, our Irish dancers would be sort of, you know, just kind of getting ready to start and all that kind of stuff. Keeping their hands down, and then it'll be, and they're off! Oh, here we go! Will they make it? Who's going to win? Who's going to cross the line first? Oh, look! It's whoever from whoever. Genius. And they finish with a Guinness, lovely. Oh, that's great, some of them aren't here. What awesome. Give us another one of them, would you? Drop something into this time, would you? Hey, regards to be sure. Where's the leprechaun? Hurry, you know. Where's your ever? <laughs> I know it's, it's po possibly the finest accent you've ever heard. <laughs> oh, genius. Speaking of leprechauns, incidentally, did you know... Here's a crazy fact for you. While I'm on the leprechaun theme, I'm sorry to be going off on tangents today, but hey, them's the breaks. Did you know Jennifer Aniston's first film when she was still in Friends, was called Leprechaun. Yeah! And apparently you're all rubbish. <laughs> I've heard it with thoughtless. Not a rubbish, that. Yeah, Jennifer Peck, what are you doing? What are you doing in Leprechaun? It's rubbish. Get yourself back in Friends. Obviously, I'm not being Irish anymore, incidentally. Just in case you're worried. How would they stretch out after that? Yeah. I mean, but seriously, right? It's fascinating to watch loads of people, but one-offs, you know, one person alone doing that just looks a fool. <laughs> Don't they? Apparently, here's a quick lie for you. Michael Flatley, apparently, sometimes when they jump, they can do those, you know, they, they hit their feet together. Apparently, Michael Flatley, when he jumps into the air, can do 57,000 taps a second. Total lie. 0901 328 <laughs> I'd love it. I'd love it if he could just... And... Uh, it's like those sonic toothbrushes. You've seen those sonic toothbrushes? Go, those are his feet. Up he goes and... Super fast. Even a strobe light can't slow him down. Even in strobe, his feet are still going... Genius. One star box remains to correctly give me the answer to this. I'm looking for the wonderfully spelt... Beautiful band made up of three lovely ladies, and they keep changing. One of them had a load of weird piercings all over her face. So maybe if we if we get Sarah to come in, we could do the um, we could do the Irish dancing race. Sarah, what do you reckon? Apparently, that's, it's, a, it's a likely. What, if we get this one on the next call? There's the, there's the challenge, folks. How much of a sport is she prepared to be today? 0901. 328 OK, yeah, all right, we'll, we'll hold that on for next. I have noticed we've got... I'm not entirely sure why, but I've just noticed in the corner of the studio we do have an awful lot of toilet roll here in the studio, so maybe somebody could dress themselves up as a mummy on the next game. I mean, that's not too difficult, is it? Somebody's got to be prepared to do that. Maybe we could get the call centre in here to do that. I haven't heard from the call centre, so I'm just going to keep... I'm going to keep having a go until they respond. Oh, no, no, one, three... They've probably, they've probably got the TV on with no volume. <laughs> Don't blame them. Hello? Hello? Who's that? It's Gemma. Gemma? Hey, yeah. Gemma, how you doing, honey? I'm all right. Good stuff, Gemma. You. Have you ever watched these crazy Irish dancers? No. No? Well, don't you think, don't you think mine was a pretty exciting Olympic <laughs> sport idea? <laughs> it was all right. It was all right. Is someone tickling you there, Gemma? Pardon? Is someone tickling you there? That was my son. Well, excellent. Well, yeah. anyone can tickle you. You might as well be your son. What's the answer to this one, Gemma? It's um, Push the Button by Sugar Babes. Is it Push the Button by Sugar Babes? <laughs> Gemma, you've got the box. Congratulations, Sonny. Let's find out how much you've won, shall we? Gemma, there's the tenner that I chucked in earlier. What's your son's name, Gemma? Luca. 
Luca, yeah. good name. I like the name Luca. Yeah. Obviously, obviously, Andy's a little bit better, but Luca works. 30 quid is yours, Gemma. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Well done, you. Now, are you any good on the jackpot, Gemma? Uh, um, not really. <laughs> not really? <laughs> no. Well, should we not just give really. up now, then, Gemma? I mean, what's the point? Come on, Gemma, let's see if we can improve it, shall we? Left or right, what do you reckon? Um, right. You're going to go for right. OK, then. Oh, Gemma, I'm sorry, honey, you are rubbish at it. It's exactly what you said. If you'd said left, you'd have pressed on. But you have won that 30 quid, and uh, congratulations. And send all our best to little Luca as well. Now, here we go. It's our blank check game. I like this game. Hard something. Hard something. 0901 328 0800. If you can find the word that goes after hard that we're looking for in our list, you will hear a, a cheer or a drum roll or something. There's our drum roll. And we will find out how much you have won. Now, I have heard the challenge from Sarah. Sarah has said that if we get the top answer, the £100 answer, Inside of the first five calls, Sarah will come on to do some Irish dancing. If we have... So that's the top answer inside of the first five calls. If we have an answer between £50 and £35 inside of the first five calls, we will get somebody to come on as a mummy in the toilet paper. Fair enough? So in the first five calls... And if, we, and if we get the £75 call, Shannon's going to come on. <laughs> no, she's not. Uh, 0901 328 0800. Well, who is in the gallery at the moment? Everybody's keeping themselves very quiet. I think John, I think John might quite happily come on as a, as a mummy, actually. Alex and Sound is with the rubber trousers. That was yesterday we discovered that Alex has rubber trousers. Good news. I think between John and Alex, we'll get a mummy. Fair enough, lads. Can I have the toilet paper so that I can show them what we're talking about? Thank you very much. Behind the camera, we will mummify them using this lovely toilet roll along these... Like that. If we have, inside of the first five calls, um, a winner, that, what, what did I say, between 50 and 35 pounds? An answer that comes up between 50 and 35 pounds. If you get the top answer in the first five calls, Sarah's going to come on and do a lightning five second river dance display for you. So you can see how it's really done. Let's find out. Hello? Hello? Who's this? Ian. Ian? Ian, how old are you, Ian? 18. When's your date of birth, buddy? 8th and a third, 85. That works for me. What you got, mate? Hard work. Hard work? It's not there. It's not there. Ian, are you 20? I, don't, I think Ian was underage. I don't know why I didn't do enough quick maths there. My friends, I can't tell you enough times. You've got to be over 18. Ian, mate, listen. Don't fool the system, my friend, because by the time you get through, if you did win, if you give me a correct answer, it's quite a relief you didn't, to be honest, buddy, because if you did, the wrath of the call centre, which is something to fear, consider, considering they're not even speaking to me. At the moment. Imagine what they'd be like to you. I mean, they're paid to speak to me. That'd be a nightmare for you. 0901 0800. Not a peep out of them I have had for four days. £175, £50, £45, £40, £35, £30, £25. Give us a ring. Get yourself on here. But you have to be over 18. Are you starting to mummify yourself? Can I, can I just start doing a little bit around John? He's up for it. We've apparently, ladies and gentlemen, breaking news, we've had a hello from the call centre. <laughs> you know, it's their spy training. They don't like to make any friends, they're like... They just watch. Folks, with no clock on the screen, you can get through at any time. We've had one...